Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about the standard deviation of a continuous frequency distribution given to us. Okay, so I am writing here the formula directly for continuous frequency distribution and the formula for variance is sigma square is 1 by n square n times summation n equal 1 to n or you can say i is equal 1 to n fi xi square minus summation i equal 1 to n fi xi whole square okay so this is the formula for standard uh, this is the formula for variance and the formula for standard deviation this is variance and the formula for standard deviation SD is this and this is root over n times summation i equal 1 to n okay fi xi square minus summation i equal 1 to n fi xi whole square okay student so this is the formula that we will be using in this lecture and this is the very very important formula students kindly very very important okay so learn this formula from your heart and i will discuss questions question based on it okay so i am writing here the question is find the standard deviation for following data okay and the data that is given to us is xi fi there is a table given to us which is 3 8 13 18 23 this is 7 10 15 10 and 6 okay so what we need to find out the standard deviation is summation fi xi square and fi xi whole square so i will make a table that we need to find out the required result so this is xi this is fi this is fi xi this is xi square and here is fi xi square okay so the these values i will write down here 3 8 and fi is given to us 7 10 15 10 6 so fi xi will be product of these two values this is 21 80 uh, 15 into 13 is uh, 195 this is 10 into 18 is 180 23 into 6 will be 138 okay so that we need summation of this 614 summation fi is 1 by n that we also required x i square we don't require but we need to do the product so this is 9 so this is the squares of all the xi values now fi xi square so multiplying these two columns second and fourth what we will get is 63 640 169 into 15 will be 2535 okay 10 into 3 to 4 is 3 to 4 0 5 to 9 into 6 is 3174 so the summation of all these values coming out to be 9652 now the step to find out the standard deviation is now we will use the formula for standard deviation which is 1 by n n times summation i equal 1 to n i equals 1 to n fi xi square minus summation i equal 1 to n again fi xi whole square okay so n here is 48 and as you know this is 48 into fi xi square is 9652 minus 
summation f i h i is six one four whole square. Okay. So this calculation is very lengthy, students. So this you can do with the help of calculator also. This is coming out to be minus three seven six double nine six. Okay. So it is one by forty eight into two ninety three point double seven, which is six point one. So the standard deviation for this the chart given to us is six point. One two, and you can also check the variance, which is the square of this standard deviation. Okay, so in this way, student, you can find out the standard deviation and the variance of the data given to us. Okay, so in the next lecture, student, we will discuss analysis of frequency distribution. Okay, so stay tuned for next lecture on analysis of frequency distribution. and if you have still any doubt or any question in this lecture then please please do comment in the comment section i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning